If you are very new to Jupyter Notebook, it is important that you understand how to open Jupyter Notebook in multiple different ways. So please do not skip the video because I am going to cover very important ways that you can open Jupyter Notebook. So let's see how this can be done. The very first method is simply type anaconda and there is something called anaconda navigator click on this you will see a icon like this just click on this and this is where is known as anaconda navigator and if you scroll slightly up here you find jupyter notebook and here is the launch button this is the first way to launch it you can see the jupyter notebook has appeared now let's see the second way the second way to open jupyter notebook is by simply typing its name and you can click on this this is also going to open jupyter notebook the third way is by simply typing anaconda and there are two different options anaconda prompt anaconda powershell prompt so we will simply go with anaconda prompt open this prompt and once the prompt opens this is how you would find c uses wherever your anaconda is installed it will going to give that default directory now from here you can simply take the name of jupyter notebook simply type this jupyter notebook you can see it right jupyter notebook and hit on enter by hitting on enter this is also going to open jupyter notebook you will see a prompt something like this Wait for some time and it's going to launch the Jupyter Notebook. Now you can see it is trying to launch the Jupyter Notebook. This is one way and once it launches, you can just browse through the folder that you like to you know, look at. Let's say my file is there in desktop and here is the file automated with Rakesh IPYNB. Now I'll give you another nice thing. What is IPYNB? Do you know? So I stands for interactive. PY stands for Python and NB stands for Notebook. Interactive Python Notebook. That is the meaning, okay? Interactive Python Notebook. Mm -hmm.